Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. And before we get started with this week's video, just to let you know, we are recruiting. Yes, you may have seen the banner on the website. We are looking for a qualified engineer and I'm also looking for a salesperson as well. So if you are interested, don't forget to email your CV to recruitment at hamradio.co.uk. Um, go to the website as well, hamradio.co.uk. Click that banner that Henry's put up and uh, full details will be listed there. Come and join the team. You know, we always have a bit of a laugh here, even though we do work very hard. So now onto this week's feature, and it's gonna be my top three, maybe four, used radios that are ideal for either newcomers to the hobby, those trying to save a few pounds, or just somebody who wants maybe a second radio for the shack. So number one on the list is Yesu's FT950. Now, this radio has been around for a few years. I'll be the first to admit that. However, it's a solid performer. Yes, they can be adapted as per this one. As you can see here, so you can add a, an SDR to it if need be. And basically, you're gonna get a nice clear color display across the front. No, there's no waterfall, you know, it's, but the thing is, this is radio and you're gonna be using your ears, I hope. So very simple to operate, built-in ATU, HF and six meters, 100 watts output, no problem whatsoever. Fully adjustable as well, I think down to five watts. So if you do want to operate QRP, it's not a problem. And you've still got all your contour settings, width settings, built-in key if you want to try CW, you've got speech processor as well built in. So, you know, as I say, don't judge a book by its cover. It's going to be down to the operating of the 950. So 749 to 799 is the usual use price for these FT950s. As a special little treat, I'm going to do a very, very special price. Uh, probably going to only run through till Monday, maybe Tuesday at a push if you're very nice to me. And we're going to go from 799 and we're going to take it down to 599. So I can hear Martin standing up from his chair now at home and saying, what are you doing? That's 200 pounds off. Yes, it is 200 pounds off. However, let's get some new people into the hobby. If you've been saving and you think it's going to take you forever to get to that brand new radio, you know, under 600 pounds is going to get you a nice HF and six meter base station radio and get you started. And obviously usual three months warranty as well. Um, any issues you just need to call, you know, we've got the engineers here. So moving on from the FT950, I'm going to go to another favorite of mine, which is Kenwood's TS590 SG. Now, slightly higher than 590 SG, you're looking at around about, I think it's 15 and a half for a brand new 590 SG, and they are still a current model. So it'll give you HF and six meters, USB connectivity on the back if you want to do your digital modes, FTA, etc. Uh, you can do remote operation, as we always say with the free Kenwood software. And again, it's a very, very simple radio to operate on. So again, no waterfall style display. However, you do get a nice clear bright display here, which you can change color on. I believe you can go from amber to green. And there may even be a third color on there if memory serves me right. Um, but as I said, very, very simple to operate. So band change here, direct frequency input here, nice and easy. If you want to use the inbuilt tuner, you basically just press the tune button that's on here. And again, as, as I've said before, whatever's on the button, you press it once. If it's above it, you just hold the button in. So very, very simple. Again, full DSP on these as well. CWD code, which is interesting. So as we were saying with the 950, if you wanted to try CW, the 590SG will actually do CWD code for you. So handy little feature to have. Right, price-wise, as I said, 1549 for a brand new one we normally do these at 1299 so to get you into the hobby or maybe even upgrade one of your old radios 1149 so 1149 is 500 pounds off the price of a brand new ts590 sg now i did say top three maybe four so the fourth one's basically going to be the ts590 s so 590S, we're going to move along. And you're not going to notice much difference, to be honest with you. So here is the 590S. Again, HF, 6 meters, 100 watts. Exactly the same as we said for the 590SG. However, the difference is no CWD code. 
and also you can only i think you can only change to two colors on the screen wow so solid solid radio based on a current radio and price wise we normally sell it around eight nine nine seven fifth uh, sorry um eight fifty give or take and today's price six nine nine so 200 pounds off that will get you in you're gonna have to be quick on these i don't have many of these in um, so you're going to have to be very quick if you want to buy one of these 590s for 699 These are ideal. If you're running like a, an old 718 or maybe an old 450 and you really do want to, you know, push to a better receiver, that's the one to go. You know, you might be a bit scared of the modern technology and think, oh, it's all too much for me, all those lights. This is an amazing radio. Don't forget to watch the video that I did of, as to whether it's still relevant. It is a superb radio. It really is. Okay, moving on from that, probably the most popular radio over the last maybe three or four years at least, ICOM's IC7300. Now, you should know about this, but if you're new to the hobby and you don't, HF six meters and four meters are standard, so you're gonna gain an extra band. And this is the lovely IC7300. So this, this is the one we always say when it comes to the operator interface, the, the UI, it really is, really is easy to use. So it, it's based on kind of a cell phone in the fact that you get icons to choose what you want to change. It's a full color screen. You've got your waterfall um, function on there, which is very, very easy to use, very easy to read. Touch screen as well. Um, if you want to operate remote, etc., yes, it becomes a bit more difficult. You need to run it with uh, a separate PC or a separate client. Um, one antenna socket on the back, so bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, great, great starter radio, full SDR as well. And everyone's had one near enough already. <laughs> so there's loads of support when it comes to this radio. Um, 2300 so 949 950 for a used one is our normal price now for this limited time period and it will be very limited and only while stocks last etc etc normal retail talk um hopefully going to be ready for this one 849 pounds so we're going to get 100 pounds off of this we've done one of these promotions before and it worked really well as i said even as a backup radio you know you might not be looking for a 7300 but at that price you can't go wrong so 849 pounds on the 7300s get in quick please don't ring me up on on uh wednesday and say oh you've been doing them at that price over the weekend they are only on the ones that i have here at the moment so talking about stock that i have at the moment as you can see thank you very much for making your purchases because it's gone down a fair bit because there seems to be a top row missing now yes i do have some more stock upstairs which is being checked um, and we'll go on over the next week or so however we are looking for your used radios if you want to pile exchange then that's fine if you just want to clear the shack a little bit um you know regardless of age on most of them obviously please bear in mind that if we can't warranty the radio you're probably going to be better off selling it privately however we will make an offer for it and you never know even knocking a couple of hundred pounds off of a new radio could help, especially on something like a 710. So again, if you've got used equipment and you want to get it sold into us, please contact the team at sales at hamradio.co.uk or just give the guys a call in the team. Right, being made to watch this video, are you? Yes, there's the other half saying, oh, come on, we've got to watch Martin Lynch and Sons video this weekend and you've got no interest in amateur radio. Well, we do a lot of other radio stuff here as well. So just a little uh, reminder to those that may have forgotten. We are distributors for the Sanjin range of radios. So with the current situation, as they say about having a backup radio, the government, etc. We do these lovely little survival stroke wind up radios. Now we will be doing a review on these uh, as soon as we get some more stock in. But this is basically an upgrade of our current version, which is the MMR 88. This is the MMR-99. Uh, great radio. Shall I, shall I risk picking it up, Henry? You all know what I'm like, don't you? <laughs> so obviously telescopic antenna, nice little handle there on top of here. If I can turn that, 
is a solar panel for charging. There we go. And then on the side, we've got a lovely torch. Um, red LED, a couple of white LEDs, does your usual SOS, etc. if need be. On the back, we've got the handle for cranking, as you can see there. And then if I turn this round, we've got our USB sockets as well for charging. And also this will recharge your mobile phone as well, if need be. So as a backup radio, absolutely amazing. Uh, we've been using the little the 88s for quite some time. So I may do the upgrade and get the 99. Moving on from that, this is Henry's favorite, the CP100D from Sanjin, which is DAB plus, FM with RDS as well, Bluetooth, and you can also plug an aux into it. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get that on camera, probably not, but uh, I won't switch it on because they're gonna cut the video if I switch it on, won't they, <laughs> with the music. So basically, it's got a little jog wheel on the side here. Information comes up onto here and you can scroll through all your DAB stations. And the audio is a, a split audio, basically. So you'll get your main audio from the front speaker here. And then this is kind of used as a bit of a bass tube. So they're, they're great fun, absolutely great fun. Under a hundred pounds as well for the CP100D. Moving on. Now, we looked at these for the shack really, but I keep looking at it and thinking that's really nice and it'll probably look good in, in a front room. And uh, I'm trying, to, um, trying to, to get a free one out of Henry, but you know, he's shaking his head. I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. So the WR201D, again, DAB+, FM, RDS, Bluetooth, and auxiliary. And it's beautiful, Look. nice and solid. And again, very simple to use. So you just turn the volume up this way and then your tuning is done here. So you can just choose what you want. So want a bit of a magic music. And there you go. And the, I mean, this is indoors here. We've got a metal roof here and uh, it does come with a telescopic antenna and we've not had to use it. So that works pretty well. Anyway, as I said, we will be doing a full review on these Sanjin radios very, very soon. These will all be coming into stock over the next week or so. We've got a big shipment coming in. So make sure you click the pre-order button so that you're not disappointed. Uh, up until then, just a quick reminder again, don't forget, click on the recruitment banner if you're looking to work in amateur radio. Come and join the team. Yes, we do have a good laugh here. You know, it's going to be hard work. I'm not going to lie to you, but as a team, we do have some great days here and we get to play with the radios all day long. Anyway, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.